Hi, I'm Oliver Tai. I'm here with Nadine Caron uh, at the 2018 Nacho Members Conference. Now, Nadine, you're a keynote speaker and you're from a long way away. So could you tell us a bit about your story, um, where you're from and why you've come over here? Sure, absolutely. Uh, why well, I had the honor of being invited by the Nacho uh, Organizing Committee uh, to be part of the conference, which was an incredible uh, experience already and still more of the conference to come. I'm First Nations from Canada and from the Sagamok First Nations, uh, Anishinaabe, and the old terminology was Ojibwe. And uh, that's from more sort of central Canada, a big city named Toronto um, is the closest, but actually my nation's quite a ways away from there. But I currently live in British Columbia, so a little bit closer to Australia on the Pacific coast. Great. And uh, you're a surgeon, I believe? I am. I do surgery in my spare time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't think you have a lot of, so <laughs> great. Um, and tell us a bit about what your message is coming out to Australia. Right. Well, uh, essentially when I was hearing about Nacho, it just sounds like an amazing organization. So I had to do a little bit of background research and certainly the team was really helpful in explaining what you do. Um, and uh, I realized that there's going to be a, a very diverse group of people in this audience. It's going to be about 500 people and they're going to be healthcare providers, health administrators, public servants, uh, people in the community, right in the trenches, uh, a group of people who had been patients in your healthcare system and the rest hoping they never have to be. And so I knew that it was going to be a really diverse group. And so I didn't want to take it from a researcher perspective or a healthcare professional perspective. I just wanted to share sort of as an indigenous person in Canada, how uh, taking all of my experiences, how I think we should readdress disparities that uh, as indigenous peoples in Canada, we face when compared to the rest of our country and was hoping there would be some relevance to it in the Australian context, recognizing that unfortunately there are way too many parallels when we talk about disparities between what we face in Canada and what your people face in, in your beautiful country. And um I understand that, as you say, there's a lot of parallels between First Nations people in Canada and Australian uh, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. What are some things that you've seen that work where you're from that you perhaps would like to see us uh, I guess some good ideas for yeah, us. Yeah, well it's interesting. I'm certainly taking away a lot from this in terms of what you're doing that's working. So uh, um, I think some of the things we're doing um, I'll, I'll sort of take it maybe from the context of the Center for Excellence in Indigenous Health, which is at the University of British Columbia where I, I work. Um, and what we're doing there is there's a lot of parallels. So our center, we work, um, well, an entire pillar is dedicated to students. And you'd think that that meant university students, and it does. It means um, recruiting students to come to UBC, supporting them, and helping with the retention of these students so they can not only complete their degrees, but enjoy success and enjoy the experience and really want to pursue additional degrees to enter healthcare professions. Um, we want to support past students so that we create an alumni of people who can support each other when they're out in their careers, regardless of where they go. But a really big part, and this is what Nacho did, um, is engaging in future students. And so really reaching out to the youth and, uh, and uh, making sure that they realize what's available in their future if they stay in school, uh, if they graduate um, and if they believe in themselves and if they surround themselves by people who tell them what they can do and if they just forget about the people who tell them what they can't. So that's one area that we're doing. Another area at the center, again, I hear it uh, embedded throughout the Nacho a conference in terms of what people are doing out in your communities and, and in your professions uh, is looking at um, what we call cultural safety and humility. The terminology I've hear here and here is cultural security is one of the terms, but essentially making it um, how at UBC at our center, changing it from something where universities used to teach sort of the history of Indigenous peoples in Canada, the cultural relevance as a healthcare provider, and changing it from if you're a university or a medical school or a nursing school that does that, that then you're like thought that you're insightful, you're proactive, you should be applauded, to really changing that whole narrative and saying you're doing the baseline, you're doing what's expected, you're doing what's non-negotiable. And so 
because that's the beginning. You can't change a person by a course or a bunch of modules, but you can start the dialogue, you can create awareness, and, and that's the baseline. And so that's what we've been working on with respect to cultural curriculum. And then research is another area that we're looking at. And, um, and what I was talking about in one of, part of my keynote was a lot of the things that impact the disparities. And as a researcher, I, I really believe that research has impact that what we find out in these studies actually can turn into potential solutions, next research questions, especially if they're driven by the communities. And so if we don't have access to that health research, then our people, our communities are less likely to benefit or even not benefit at all from it. Uh, and that's just wrong. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for, um, for participating in this sharing experience and we've certainly gained a lot from uh, what you've brought over. And I hope you've enjoyed your stay and uh, continue to. And um, remember, we're here investing in what works. <laughs>